A Muslim woman is suing her former employer, claiming that she was fired because of her faith. Her lawyer says the firing came just two days after the San Bernardino shootings, and the employer's reason is just not holding water. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park has the story. Terry Ali is the Dearborn woman behind a newly filed lawsuit claiming she was fired because of her Muslim faith just days after the San Bernardino, California shooting rampage. And her lawyer, Sharif Akil, says she has a strong case. There's an inconsistency here uh, between the reason why she was hired and the reason why she was fired. According to the complaint filed last week in Wayne County Circuit Court, Ali was hired in November for a $14 an hour full-time receptionist job at Livonia Dermatology. Her first day was December 1st. The very next day, news broke out about the terrorist attack that left 14 people dead and more than 20 injured. And on December 3rd, Ali was summoned by her supervisor for an odd question. She was asked by her supervisor, um, are you sure you like your job? Do you, do you, is there anything you're not happy with? She goes, no, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Akil says something was brewing then because Ali was moved to work in a back room for two days. And she was fired the following day, December 5th. Her supervisor writing in an email the clinic was downsizing. Akil doesn't buy that reasoning, pointing out earlier emails implied the clinic was in dire need of immediate help at the front desk. That's really insensitive. The woman behind those emails Office manager Jennifer Couturier told Action News today the clinic has a non discrimination policy and declined to comment any further. But she told the Detroit Free Press Ali was fired because she couldn't type fast enough. Akil says that smells like another excuse. Her main job was to greet people in the front. There's no question in my mind here that they wanted to have her out of view of the customers up front because of her faith and because she wears the hijab, which is really unfortunate. The lawsuit is seeking damages for religious discrimination. Jane Park, 7 Action News.